Yo, this is Ariel Moth from New Orleans, giving all praises to the Most High God of the Bible, who we know in the Hebrew as Yahweh, and his son of the world calls Jesus Christ, who we know in the ancient Hebrew as Yahweh Shai. Now on our left, you see the Ball family, big ballers, uh, Laval and Lonzo, uh, a representation of something that's right, uh, something that has substance, something that has integrity. Now. On our right, you see Kyrie Irving, fan friendly, right? Always smiling, right? A representation of something that's wrong. A representation of your everyday average so-called Negro Latino and Native American. And when I say so-called Negro Latino and Native American, I'm talking about the Israelites and Jews of the Bible. Yes, that's who you are. You're God's chosen people. You're the peculiar treasure. You're the greatest people on the planet Earth, but you got a lot of wicked, evil, diabolical, treacherous, lies and slanderers, etc. Amongst our people, um, a lot of wickedness amongst our people. And that right there, Kyrie Irving is your leader in wickedness. This nigga got the nerve to open up his mouth and say something negative about what another grown man is doing with his children. How another grown man is raising his sons and rearing his family. OK, nigga, you nigga, you go and worry about your own fucking children. That's what you do. Let this man do what he going to do. Now, Laval done uh, had, his, had then, uh, 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 raised these boys. He has uh, got this thing out the mud with his boys, fed his boys, clothed his boys, put a, a roof over their head. Got them in school and etc. Trained them. Okay. That are they are his sons, not your son, his sons. And he gonna raise them how he seems fit, how he sees fit. Okay. That's a man's job. To raise his fucking boys. To be a protection and to be a guide and to support his sons and his children and his household. That's what he's supposed to do. Now, on a spiritual level, the Israelites. The, beginning with the men of Great Millstone is our job to teach all of Israel to be a father to you. So we're telling you the right things, how to govern your life, how to keep the law, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability, who your enemy is, what's the prophecies that's about to take place. That's our job to be a father unto you, to guide you, to protect you, to lead you to the right path. And that's the same thing that uh, Laval is supposed to be doing with his family. Same thing Kyrie's supposed to be doing with his family. All of us, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are supposed to be doing. But this nigga right here, Kyrie Irving, ain't doing that. He coming up against something that's right. Something that has integrity. Why? Because his daddy ain't shit. I'm going to tell it like it is. His daddy, a weak, effeminate, chump, punk, bust-ass nigga. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tell it how it is. Okay? Because you're going to look at him. His son is a representation of that. A weak, bust, a fake, phony, fraudulent ass nigga. You see, if you had a father like Lavar, your clown ass wouldn't be paying child support and be taking care of a bitch that, that you not even wit. Oh, stupid, goof ass nigga. You niggas are just like Kyrie Irving. Fucking weak, effeminate, faggot, f flunky ass niggas. Anyway, let's go to this Bible. Ecclesiastes 30 and verse 3. It says, he that teaches the son grieveth the enemy. Yeah, and uh, Kyrie, you didn't made yourself the enemy, okay? And the natural enemy is supposed to be the so-called white man. Esau, according to the Bible, the devil, the wicked. But you're just like him, okay? This man is raising his, his sons, taking care of his family, okay? Having, stepping out with integrity, going against all odds, okay? And you got a problem with that? Let, let's throw Lonzo out to the wolves, Yo, man, nigga, fuck you, piece of shit. You niggas out there, but fucking pieces, pieces of shit, man. Goof troop ass niggas. He that teaches his son grieveth the enemy. Yeah, you get you are. Uh, you can't sleep at night, niggas on your ass, now, nah, nigga. Okay, it says, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. That's right, and that's what Laval's supposed to do. Be rejoicing. Yeah, you supposed to get a lot of hate. You're supposed to get, uh, find yourself with some enemies, people coming up against you. Yeah, it's supposed to happen like that. You're doing something right, okay? So don't stop what you're doing. Keep on raising your family and be a guide and protection and be a leader 
for your people. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what men supposed to do. Have integrity like Uncle Lavar. Okay. So uh, with that, I say uh, you brothers out there, uh, keep reading, studying and researching this Bible. Continue to have stuff, substance and integrity and stand up for your people. Okay. And push this word. We almost out of here. America is about to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. And the Lord, who we know as Yahweh Shah, is going to come back with the innumerable angels and get some of us the hell up out of here. But niggas like Kyrie Irving got to go. The Lord going to get rid of clowns like that. Weak ass chump. Shalom.